Hey everybody, uh, I'm just cleaning up a little mess upstairs and I want to throw down some extra blankets before I leave her alone. So uh, I'll be just a couple minutes late. It's 10 o'clock. We started the recording. I don't know if there'll be kids in here to watch or not, uh, but I will be right back in just a minute.
I just want to give her rug a little pre-treatment and take me just a couple some more seconds to go up there and spray it real quick and then I'll be down for mail. And I'll be down for mail. Hello! Okay, I'm here. Take my shoes off because they're my wrong shoes for running around the house. These are my outdoor shoes. Okay. Kittens? Anybody want to come down and say hi to me for mailbag? You know, you guys are all going to be up here for mailbag? All right, well, what can you do? At least you kids know I'm here. You can hang out with me if you want. I'm a lot of fun, you know. Well, uh, here we are. What's news? Uh, we're 10 minutes late, but moving fast. Let me check the cameras real quick. Uh, I know I've heard a lot of complaints about the camera and the sound not being synced up, and I've done uh, everything I can possibly do about it so far. Uh, let's just see here. Ah, ah. <clears throat> too many things on my phone. I can't even. Uh. Where's the chat? Okay, there's that. There's this. Okay. All right, well, good. I like hearing the, the audio is in sync right now. Hopefully it'll stay that way. I did do a lot about it this morning, um, including uh, setting up the backup machine, but those machines, they just aren't acting right. And every time this happens, I tell myself, all right, this is the time I'm finally going to, you know, go away from the software that we use there and put in something that's better. Uh, but that's a that's a very big project that uh, so far we just haven't had the time for. So, so not yet, I guess. Uh, but soon, maybe someday. I don't know. It depends on how much it continues to irritate us. It seems like every time I say this is it, this is the last time, uh, then it works for a while and I forget about it. Anyway, uh, what else have we got here? Let me just. Uh, Check the angles. Hi, buddy. 
Oh, this reminds me. So this little guy has been giving me some concern because he's had bad poops. But another thing that happened as I was running back and forth, I saw him in the litter box and I stopped to see he had a good poop. That makes me feel real nice because uh, I was a little worried about all that. And now I feel a little better about all that. And of course, that doesn't mean we're not going to continue to keep an eye on him. But that's why he stayed in the office with us, the spa with us all night instead of, uh, instead of being down here with his sisters. And boy, was that fun. He's a little purr machine. He just loves to snuggle and hang out and uh, play. He was bringing DJ toys this morning. Real sweet boy. Um, in other news, obviously, we have a new mom cat. Her name is Thimble, and she made a huge mess this morning. But uh, otherwise, she seems pretty fine to me. Um, she's, uh, she's had bad poop sh since she arrived. And... We've given her two different kinds of dewormers, which we check to make sure we're safe for uh, very pregnant mom cats. So no worries there. Uh, and it may be that some of the mess that she made is related to that. You know, it may just be the, the little worminess making her sick. Uh, you know, once they start to sort of die off inside, um, she might she might be a little vomity. And that's nothing unexpected. Uh, but I did, I, I you know, I just said hi to her up there and I was petting her. And she seems like she's doing fine as far as I can tell. Uh, so no, no worries. Uh, she could deliver her kittens anytime. Um, she hasn't given any particular sign that that labor is imminent, but uh, boy, oh boy, she is so big. It could just be uh, anytime. I mean, it, it really could. Uh, she could, she could go uh, today. She could go tomorrow. Today or tomorrow would be pretty nice, actually, because DJ's home all weekend, which is unusual. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, anytime in the next week or two, even uh, if she really wants to push it. Uh, so, uh, you know, it is what it is. We just, we just watch and wait. Uh, and, uh, you know, if she goes like four weeks, then maybe we'll take her to the vet for like a C-section, but that's just not possible, which is why it would be such a weird thing. Um, other news, other news. I don't think so. I think you know everything that I know. So, uh, that's the whole story. All right. Let's open some mail. I, I don't know if we've got uh, enough mail that we can get through it all today, especially starting 10, 15 minutes late, um, which uh, I don't think necessarily changes our ending time. I'm sorry to say I've got a lot to take care of and I'll just never get caught up if we don't um, continue to set some boundaries. Uh, boundaries? Boundaries not the right word. Uh, time limits. Uh, oh, but uh, that does remind me, not everybody probably saw last week where I talked about this. Uh, our new rule for mailbag is that it starts at 10 on Saturday, off to a great start there, and uh, it ends at 11 on Saturday or thereabouts, uh, and that's, that's just how we're going to do it. If we have too much mail to get through in the 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock hour, then we'll pick it up Sunday at 11 o'clock, uh, and uh, um, hopefully you have it done by noon on Sunday, and if not, then uh, we punt. Uh, we, we'll figure out what to do if that uh, eventuality comes to pass. But uh, I just I had to set some some rules like that because um, sometimes there's too much mail and and fortunately it's been pretty good for a while uh, where where it hasn't been uh, too much um, but uh, if I if I don't you know say uh, you know mailbag is an hour then um, it's just it's it's a uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. So anyway, you get the idea. Uh, so at 11 o'clock, I'm going to start uh, kind of trying to wrap it up if, if we're still here. And I think we will be because we've got a whole bunch of letters and uh, small mail in addition to the handful of large things that we have. So that'll probably be the case. But uh, let's do some of the stuff that I know is going to be cool and important. I saw this was here, and this says it's from OBS, OBS, OBS. So that means I know exactly what this is. This has got to be our sample of the Kitten Academy annual calendars, which um, I may have mentioned. We don't, you know, I don't, I don't have anything to do with those. Uh, OBS on Discord just uh, collects all kinds of photos and things that I share on Discord. So a lot of it is stuff that has never been off of Discord and um, compiles them into an annual, we'll talk about it when we open it, a uh, calendar that's just beautiful with lots of pictures in it. And then uh, some of the dates are like births of various uh, classes and uh, things like that, along with the usual holidays that you might expect to see in a calendar. So uh, that should be fun when we get to that. But first, uh, I just I just randomly grabbed about about half of the letters that we have, and I'm just going to do half of them right now, thinking probably we'll do the other half tomorrow. That way, I've got a little something to read uh, to get started with tomorrow. That would be nice. Uh, did I mention the new mom cat has a name? It's Thimble. Thimble, T-H-I-M-B-L-E, like the thing you wear on your finger when you're sewing. Thimble. 
uh, just in case I didn't say it, uh, I want to make sure I say that. So I haven't really gotten the word out through the usual channels. You know, we might usually post it on Twitter or something. Um, and I, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So, okay. Uh, this says it is from Cat Lover uh, in New York. And uh, it's addressed to Dr. DJ and Mr. A. And then on the back, we've got this cute little cat playing with a, a Christmas ornament in the snow. And it says new mom cat, indeed. Uh, yeah, the new mom cat, by the way, doesn't seem especially playful yet. Uh, of course, I also think she's a little older than most of the mom cats that we have. So she may be mostly past that, that stage of being a total kitten, uh, whereas Cahoots and especially um, Ocean, who just went, are, were absolute kittens, you know, just playing all the time. So uh, it's a little strange to see new mom cat. She does like the catnip quite a bit, but I've tried to engage her in play with some strings and stuff, and she's just not really having it. Who can blame her, though, as big as she is? I'm surprised that she can jump, and she jumps up onto the second level of that cage and hangs out in the hammock sometimes, which is unprecedented. I don't think we've ever had a mom cat that voluntarily gets into the hammock the entire time they're here, much less while they're still pregnant. Uh, that is just, it's really something uh, unique and fun. So definitely uh, enjoying that. Anyway, I uh, interrupted myself. This is the uh, Meowy Christmas. It's this beautiful block print uh, of some kittens playing on uh, Christmas presents that are shaped like a Christmas tree, where it stood up to stacked up like a Christmas tree. And it says, time to pause and celebrate the season. Uh, dear Dr. DJ and Mr. A, how exciting for you and KA fans, a house full of kittens, now that a new mom cat has enrolled at the academy, who looks like she'll deliver a new class of kittens just in time for the Christmas season. The timing could not be better. I'm wishing you joy and happiness and health all throughout the year, all the cats and kittens too. Be sure to take some time off to enjoy the season, rest and enjoy your cat kingdom. Your house is Disneyland for cats and kittens. All the best, cat lover. Thank you, cat lover. What a sweet thing for you to say. <clears throat> I really appreciate that. I'm gonna have a little sip of this coffee. Ooh, never enough. All right. Um, yeah, Disneyland for cats and kittens. That's fun. They've really been enjoying that wall, by the way. Uh, and I hope they continue to because that's fun for me to see them. Uh, when you do something like that and they just never pay attention to it, you're like, well, all right, that's what I expected. Uh, but then when they do pay attention to it, you're like, yes, score. Uh, exactly how I feel about the wall. This is a beautiful photograph of five kittens in stockings, uh, one of them upside down. Very cute. And uh, it, it almost looks like a real photograph, but I know this brand uh, does a lot of Photoshop, so they just did, they're doing a really good job. They're at the peak of their game. And it says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year with many more mom cats and kittens. Uh, may the holidays be filled with your favorite things. Merry Christmas from Kathy, Bill, aw, Millet, and Sydney. How sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, what a great uh, little... Uh, picture, photo, thing, that is. All right. This says, Texas meetings again. Hmm. It says, okay to read on stream. Very interesting. Oh, well, it's a familiar card. I do like this card quite a bit, so that's good. There we go. And it appears there was another Texas meetup, and we are getting signatures from it. How sweet of you guys to think of us and do that while, while you're all meeting together. That's just the, the best. Um, and there's signatures here. I don't know if I'll be able to read them all. Um, well, they're mostly legible. Uh, I see one from Brew and Perry. Squeeze a Maggie for me. That's so sweet. Uh, Merry Christmas. Thanks for all you do. Lover of cats. Have yourself a very Merry Christmas from Terry Ginger Cat Lover. Uh, thanks to... Um, oh, Perry and Dr. Brew for hosting Kittens Were Bothered. So sweet. Thank, uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, happy holidays. Thanks for all you do for mom, cats, kittens, faculty, and all of us. Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. That's so cute. And then they filled it out with a bunch of uh, beautiful little cats in mugs. Uh, I think they're brew cat stickers. Very cute. Along with, of course, the brew cats logo. And you guys know uh, Dr. Brew, also a doctor, a uh, different sort of doctor, but also a doctor. Um, who uh, who does the brew cats fostering and uh, wonderful also. 
So, uh, someone spilled the beans, a little something for Dr. DJ. Enjoy. It is exactly the uh, Bigelow green tea. This is, this is the very thing that DJ drinks all day long. So, this will be gone instantly because um, she goes through several of those a day. And uh, it's funny because she doesn't even really brew it for that long. She just kind of like, it's just in and out. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's a little bit better than just water, I guess. Who knows? Uh, so, thank you guys for thinking of us again. That's really, really sweet. Okay, this says, please do not bend. Well, I don't. Uh, steadfast. <clears throat> this is a cute watercolor of a kitty playing with some Christmas tree lights. Really cool colors on that, too. I love it. And inside, all it says is, hi, cahoots, cloud. All right. Uh, well, thank you so much. Um, we will we'll say hi to cahoots um, wherever she is. I think she's in her room right now, taking a little time off from the kids. Uh, she's doing great at recovering after her surgery. And one of the interesting things is that uh, Dr. Katz has been changing a lot of stuff up. She got a, a partner now. Uh, I don't know if it's partner or just employee, but a second doctor at her practice. And um, I think that uh, bringing in some, uh, some you know, young, fresh perspective uh, helps shake things up a little bit. So I've noticed a few of the policies and procedures are, are changing or getting updated. And it's nice. It's very nice because, uh, you know, um, we've always enjoyed Dr. Katz at Aristocats. That's Aristocats in Fairfield. Uh, she's the vet that we use for everything. We've always enjoyed the fact that that she um, is really aware of sort of the limits of her knowledge. You know, she's a, a frontline vet, and so she never hesitates uh, when something comes in to consult with someone else or to send you to a specialist. Or and that's that's really what you want is a vet that that doesn't try to do it all and doesn't imagine that they know everything. You want somebody that is you know willing to update and, and recognize that nobody knows everything. And that's that's one of the things that makes Dr. Katz so great. So it's wonderful to see um, that uh, now that she's got a, a local source of new opinions that she's willing to change some stuff up. And uh, I think what I was trying to say is that uh, then Cahoots then doesn't have any sutures, uh, which is cool. She's just, she's used the, the glue technique this time. And she asked us to sort of keep an eye on it and send her pictures over time so that she knows how it's going and has that feedback to, to whether this is a good change for her or not, which is even better. I really appreciate the fact that not only is she trying something new, but she's sort of being scientific about it and looking for that, that feedback to iterate on it and, and get it right. So I think that's wonderful. Uh, and so far, it looks like Hoots is doing great with it. So that's, that's wonderful, too. All right, this is a kitty wrapped up in Christmas ornaments and it's uh, Christmas tree lights, I mean, and it says Meowy Christmas with a very shiny star on top. Oh, it's kind of 3D too, I didn't notice that. And inside it says, uh, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, oh my goodness, uh, Merry Christmas from Clint in NH and his cats, oh my goodness. So uh, Clint is the one that you know that sends those wonderful metal bowls for every class that graduates. And uh, it says, from Clinton N.H. and his cats, Victor, Izzy, Harvey, Lucky, Merlin, Cousin, It, Flower, Loki, Parsley, Time, Gizmo, Anakin, Two, and Esther. Uh, that is a bunch of cats, and those are some great names, too. Clint, it is wonderful to hear from you. I love your Christmas card. Thank you so much uh, for writing to us. I, I just, I really do appreciate that, and I appreciate uh, everything you've sent us over the years for the cats and kittens. Uh, just fantastic of you to do that. Okay, uh, let's find our knife so that we can start opening things. Here we go. Perfect. Oh, 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 oh. Down in front. Okay. Kittens? Anybody? Ooh. Oh, that's the way I need to stretch. Maggie, what are you doing in there? Hi. Are you watching me? I don't know if you guys can see her over there in the wicker box. Probably not. Um, Okay, she's just going to settle down and watch me, though. Okay, Maggie, that's fine. So let's open this first, just because I already pulled it out and talked about it. This is the calendars, I'm assuming, the, the Pre Kitten Academy calendars. And uh, if you want to know where to get a calendar that has the Kitten Academy stuff on it, uh, I will try to make it a point to get that posted onto our Twitter. Of course, if you are on our Discord, you already know where, because it's been posted there already. And if you are in, uh, well, if you're on the other side of the globe, um, there is a process whereby um, there, there's, a, there's a separate version that gets done for the Europeans and, uh, and otherwise over there that uh, makes it local for you guys. So a little bit easier to order and, and cheaper shipping and all that kind of stuff. 
uh, same calendar the way I understand it. And I, I don't know if that's been published yet at all, but once it has been, we'll be sure to let you know as well. So first off, I can see we've got some, some fun stuff here for the kitties. Look at that, a whole set of Christmas toys, uh, these pink little mice and uh, some regular mice here, with the little uh, the string tails on them that um, Logan loves so much. Oh, and some wrapped up fancy springs. But there's a note here. And the note says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Happy Holidays. Enclosed are the 2023 calendars. That's K-A calendars. Uh -huh, I see what you did there. Here's a, here's a sample of the, the one single page calendar. Uh, and some toys to distribute as you see fit. Links for purchasing are shared to Discord and Twitter. Oh, good. Obs, obs, obs. Twitter may already have it then if you, if you know where to find her. Um, Thank you for all that you do and fun fact, since I know you don't keep track, but Tabby Mom, unnamed at the time of this letter and her kittens will be the official 50th class of kittens to enroll at KA. Wow, I really don't, I had no idea. So here's to another year of adorable kittens and their moms and all the joy they bring to this world. Wishing you the best, Obs, 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 Finnick and Azula. Well, thank you so much, Obs. Uh, that is, uh, that's an interesting fact. I didn't know that, that, that um, Thimble, that Thimble was going to be our 50th class. Look at how pretty that is. Wow, I love this font that you used for the calendar. You've got our fancy logo on the front. And then, oh, all these wonderful pictures of DJ hugging Maggie. And Maggie looking like she just is not into this. So sweet. This looks like little ocean here in the corner in some of her class. All right, I'm not going to spoil the whole thing, but uh, <laughs> it's great. Uh, a lot of fun stuff in here. And then uh, there's also the this. This is the desk calendar. There we go. So we can stand that up, maybe. Maybe if we're lucky. All right, let's try this. There we go. And we've got the 2022 calendar right up next to our microwave in there. Uh, so we've uh, definitely kept an eye on that. And here is the wall calendar. Look at that. Very similar. Uh, this one, of course, has more uh, space to call out dates with little pictures of when the classes were born. Here we've got, uh, coming up in January, we've got the Fonts birthday, Coffee's birthday, the Breddy's class birthday, and the Puppies. Oh, the Puppies class. Wow, has it almost been a year since Scotty and her puppies already? Amazing. Uh, so there we go. we got a page dedicated to the faculty in January, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. You can see it's wonderful quality. Uh, buttons, <laughs> the buttons on it, that's sweet. Oh, all about buttons, that's so sweet. Wow, it's kind of a look back at the last year, isn't it? We've got a, the mom cats over the last year. Oh. The puppy academy, oh, this great art that you picked too to go with the photos. That's just, the whole thing is wonderful. So that's, that's the calendar. Thank you so much for sending us a copy of it. I love it. I hope uh, everybody enjoys that. I'll put your letter there with it. These I will set aside to be added to a pile of, uh, to be used as we see fit. My coffee fell over, but that's okay. It was closed. And it's almost empty anyway. I think now it is practically empty. I'm still going to try to finish it again. Uh, I'm going to put these cards also with the, uh, the calendar. So thank you for that. This can go over here and this can go, uh, I'm going to just toss this over that way and then I'll pick it. Oh, it uh, didn't go where I wanted that's fine. I'll pick it up when we go by. All right, let's open some other stuff. I'll tell you, I was kind of excited when I saw this uh, box from Lee Anaconda, uh, which is a great name, by the way. Uh, again, I don't normally say people's real names, uh, and I'm sure that is your real name, Lee Anaconda. Um, but uh, you got cute little gingerbread stickers and uh, snowmen, reindeer, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I know you sent us that candy bark at Halloween. I was kind of, let's take a look and see what we got in here. I was thinking of that. So let's see here. Oh, okay. Uh, we got some packing materials. I'll put those in a pile back here so we get a better place to put those things. Oh my goodness, there is food in here. I thought there might be. Um, and a card that says where Santa is a cat. That's cute. We've got these beautiful blue-eyed baby kittens on the front. It says, peace to all, big and small. Little gray tabbies. And inside, you have written, uh, may your holiday be filled with special moments. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your holiday treats. Good thing Ocean isn't around to, isn't around to steal them. LOL from Leanna Conda. 
Thank you so much. Yes, it is a good thing. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, I really missed having ocean around at first because I'd start cooking something in the kitchen. I'd be like, something's missing here. <laughs> it takes a little bit to get used to uh, not having that constant interruption. So you sent some amazing stuff. These are Christmas blondies made with M&M's chocolate chips, crushed Oreos, and uh, sugar on top. And they're beautiful. The little red and green sugar really makes it Christmassy. The rest of that has my mouth watering. That sounds so good. And then this says Oreo peppermint bark fudge and peppermint bark. Oh, man, exactly the kind of thing. This is I was hoping for all of this. <gasps> oh, this looks so good. And the best thing is uh, DJ doesn't really like mint or chocolate. So I know I get to eat all of this myself. <laughs> Uh, Leanna Conda, thank you so much for those. She'll probably help with the blondies, though. That would be my guess. Um, so it's not that she doesn't, you know, she hates chocolate, just not her thing in any way. Uh, so, hey, it is mine. It works out. Uh, something, something, Jack Strat. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Leanna Conda, thanks again so much for that. Um, what have we got here? This, this has, oh, I see that it's on the bath bottom somehow. Uh, and I've covered it up completely, so I guess we just don't know what's going on here. Let's see what we got. No kittens anywhere. Are there any kittens at the so-called academy? Can we even get a Maggie? Maggie? Hi, I guess you know your name very well. I can see that. You want to play with something, Max? Can you play with you? Kittens, you want to play with that? They are passed out. All right, well, Maggie just watching it. It's not going to come out of that box. Let me take a look real quick and see uh, where that is on the camera. If you could at least see her over there, that would be sweet, wouldn't it? Oh, you can. She gets just barely on the camera. Good. Okay, perfect. That makes me happy. We got that going for us, which is nice. Okay, well, there's got to be a note in here somewhere. We're going to have to find it. First, we have some wonderful treats, the greenies, the greenies that are so good. I have to wash my hands after I've touched them or the kids try to eat my fingers. And the buffalo, uh, the blue of uh, bursts. So those are great. Also delectables, the seafood, um, non-seafood recipe. Interesting. I don't think I've seen that pack. Lickable stew treats for cats. They do love those. I guess I did open this upside down because I see the note now at the bottom. It says, K.A. and cats and kittens, okay to read on stream. Perfection. Put that right over there. Oh, what fun. And it's got a bunch of people. It's a little, again, a block print. Uh, oh, what fun. And uh, they're carrying a Christmas tree. That's uh, super cute. And it says, happy holidays to you and yours. Love, uh, squiggly line. We do love a squiggly line. But there's a printed note, too, so that may make it more clear. Dear Mr. A, DJ, and cat slash kittens, yay, it's already almost December. Oh, did you hear treats, Maggie? Maggie's a treat king. Yes, that reminds me, we took her to the vet for her regular annual checkup, and she had high blood sugar. Um, but we know from Brooke, sometimes that's just the stress of traveling to the vet. So we've got to do some follow-up testing here at home to figure it out for sure. Anyway, uh, it's already almost December as I am writing this. So that must mean Santa is getting ready to visit all the houses near and far, which I'm certain includes yours. Do you think everyone in the house has been good, including Mr. Custard? I've put a nice little holiday box together. Indeed you have. It includes treats to use as you see fit, okay? Face and foot masks for the humans. Oh, oh, is that what this is? Uh, this jar of prosperity. Salt scrub. Ooh, created and blessed with abundance. My goodness. Reach a new level of success. I don't know. Tangerine oil, though, that's got to smell wonderful. Um <laughs> And, uh, oh, I see, the hydrating face masks are over here. Oh, I meant foot masks, I see. All right, honey lavender, fusion. How fun. Uh, so we have a, an actual spa day going on here. Uh, that's awesome. We also have, oh, yeah, I see you say orange body scrub for humans. It smells very good. Yeah, I can only imagine. I got it this smell right now. Uh, then we also have cat food stuff to use as you see fit. Oh, it's sealed, and I don't want to break the seal yet. Uh, but 
I do smell a faint bit of tangerine. That's a great smell. Uh, all right, cat food stuff. Yes, there's Fancy Feast in here. And uh, I do see some more treats, but it's mostly Fancy Feast. Yeah, here's some more treats. Okay. Then finally, Candy Cane Coasters, which are perfect. Oh, man, this is so perfect for a Christmas thing to have around. DJ will love that. I like it too. Don't get me wrong. Uh, my cousin made these so cool. I think they are more decorative though. Well, maybe, I don't know. I could definitely see using them. They're flat enough to put anything on them. So they'll work just great as coasters. Well done. Maggie is tearing up some paper now. Maggie, hi. Uh, does the weather in CT get very cold? I remember when I lived in Chicago, it would be very cold. I'd have to layer up, then get uh, into school and delay due to heat being cranked out. Oh, D-layer, do, 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 hey, I see. Get into school and D-layer due to heat being cranked out, yes. Also, wearing my winter boots, treading through the snowdrifts, and shoveling snow and have to redig out the driveway after the street plows went by. No fun. We do get that in Connecticut, but we only get a very tiny bit of it. And so far, it's beautiful out. We haven't seen any snow at all. We've seen plenty of rain. Uh, it did say the temperature right now is freezing, uh, 32 degrees. Fahrenheit, but it doesn't really feel it. It's bright and sunny, and uh, most of our days have been have been unseasonably warm. Of course, I haven't been living here long enough to know what it's supposed to be like every year, so uh, it could be just normal. Uh, it's certainly nothing like the winters in Chicago that I grew up with as well. They were insane, and uh, the thing I remember the most when I think of winter being just bitterly cold is when I was a real little kid in grade school, uh, first grade through sixth grade, uh, I went to an elementary school, actually not even through sixth grade. I think I was only there at that school through third grade, third grade, and then we moved. But uh, we went to elementary school in Hanover Park in Illinois, and they would not let us into the school until a certain time, no matter how cold it was outside. And so all the kids, we would be like in this doorway. There wasn't even really a shelter, but there was a doorway that we would all crowd into. And it was just like, like watching animals that, that are trying to conserve heat where you'd try to be the kid that was all the way closest to the door so everybody else was pressed up against you. And it would sort of you know be moving and everybody would be struggling to be in the, on the inside of this uh, mass of kids. Uh, yeah, that was, that was something. Uh, and that was just the way it was then. You know, we were all fine. I got through it fine. I'm perfectly normal. Uh, but boy, it's, uh, that's something that just be, will be in my memory forever is something that was suffering, uh, horrible suffering. Uh, anyway, that and waiting for the school bus was a similar experience, waiting for the school bus uh, later in life. Anyway, uh, it was nice coming home after school to have some cocoa with marshmallows. Mm. As I've gotten older, it's been tea with milk and sometimes lemon if I'm feeling fancy. No, do not use lemon and milk with your tea. It doesn't do nice things with your tea. I guess probably curdles, right? Uh, I didn't realize this. My guess is the acidity of lemon isn't so good with the milk, right? Oops. What kind of treats do you leave for Santa when he comes? Are there any favorite goodies you like to eat during the winter months? Do the cat's tastes change during the winter, or is it pretty much the same year round? I've well, never noticed if it makes a difference for the cats. I'll have to pay attention to that. Uh, for us, not really... Um, there are some foods, though, that I've enjoyed, you know, uh, not snacks and treats. I just I do all year round. So that doesn't make a difference. But winter foods can be real nice. Like um, when I was doing Blue Apron real regularly, uh, there were a few things that I would got during the winter months from them that I still like to make once in a while. Uh, brown butter, brown butter uh, gnocchi uh, with uh, like some nuts in the in the brown butter. Uh, so good. And um like a squash, um, uh, like a like you, uh, winter squash uh, soups, like uh, or like a, even almost sort of a Thai style soup, uh, maybe with coconut milk and stuff. Oh, so good! I'm looking forward to doing some of those things. Uh, anyway, what kind of treats? Okay, let's see. That's what I just read. I see DJ's also decorated the house for Christmas. Well, a little bit. I, I was just talking to her this morning. There's more to be done, and I think this is the weekend where we gotta gotta make it happen. Uh, do you, did you have any traditions when you were growing up for Christmas? We had stockings every year until we got too old. Decorating the tree was always a good time. Did you always get what you wanted or was it things like socks and underwear from families? I don't think I ever got things like that. Woo. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoys their items. Merry Christmas. Love, Karen. 
Sharon, thank you very much. Uh, the Fancy Feast is still in the box here. I'm just going to leave that in here and put the treats back in here as well. And then we'll have the box of food things for the kitties. Uh, wait, uh, what's the last thing you asked? I can answer that well. I'm moving stuff around, shuffling. Uh, oh, traditions. Well, I'll tell you, we did have stockings every year. Uh, and lots and lots of presents. My dad, uh, just that was that was how, I think that was fundamentally the way that my dad always expressed his love um, in the end was was by buying us stuff, by, by giving things. Uh, that was just the way that, that he worked, you know, that was his deal. And so for him, Christmas was a big deal and it was just, just so much ridiculous, just ridiculous amounts of stuff. But the thing that I think warms me the most uh, remembering it was the stockings and the fact that every stocking, uh, it would always have, <laughs> he would go to the grocery store and just like it, the last minute, he'd be like, oh, I didn't fill the stocking, I think, and just pick stuff like uh, travel size toothpaste and a toothbrush, a new toothbrush every year without fail. Those would be a couple of the things that were in the stocking. And then a real traditional item, there would always be an orange in the stocking as well. Uh, just one big orange. And as a kid, I don't think I really appreciated it. I'm like, it's an orange. It's just going to go in the fruit bowl and mom and dad are going to eat it. <laughs> but, uh, but as an adult now, I look back on that and uh, it, it feels a lot more meaningful somehow. So that's something that was always special for me. Uh, Karen, thank you so much for that and the wonderful questions. I really appreciate it. Okay, uh, let's keep rolling. I'm going to pull a couple of these little packages out of the, the post office box here. Uh, let's see. Oh, this says Callie's Moms. All right, this is from Callie's Moms. And, oh, I see a beautiful blanket. This is a familiar blanket, though. I've seen this print before with the fish on it, probably uh, when we had Ocean Arrive, I would think. And the only note says, a uh, gift for you, enjoy. Well, thank you, Callie's Moms. This is a nice little blanket that I'm sure that uh, mom cats will appreciate. I can see it's nicely finished, too, at the edges. Not like most of the receiving blankets we get that are just surged. Uh, that's a little extra special. So thank you so much for that. I imagine it, it'll be any day now that we're going to need a big handful of those. So uh, thanks for thinking of us that way. Uh, this is... Let's go over here. Uh, Maggie, let's move this stuff out of the way so people can see that you're sitting right there. Thank you for coming over here, by the way. Maggie would surprise you. She is a real lap cat, but she only wants to get in your lap like at certain times and in certain places usually. But if I'm sitting upstairs with DJ and Maggie has access to the bedroom, she will come and insist on sleeping in my sitting and sleeping in my lap and grooming herself. Or surprisingly, here in the beanbag show, you might have seen this the other night when she was desperate to get in my lap, but she didn't want any kittens there. And she kept trying to climb up my lap and then hitting the kittens to get them out of the way. Uh, it's, it's, it's surprising. You don't think of Maggie as being the super affectionate cat, but she really is. Okay, this box is from G, a girl. And that means we know what it is. Uh, through the miracle of time travel, I believe that the item in this bag has already been deployed upstairs. Can you believe that? It says, enjoy your gift, a banana for the new mom cat from GA Girl or Georgia Girl, if you want to. Um, thank you so much. The, like I said, the, the banana is already upstairs, even though it seems like that should be impossible. That's exactly what happened. So thank you for sending that along. Otherwise, we'd end up in a time paradox. and Nobody wants that. That would be awful. Uh, so now everything's good. The timeline is saved. Thank you, GA girl. All right, next up, uh, Kitten Academy, Kahooties, and new mom, Edwina. <laughs> Edwina, I guess because she looks so much like Eddie. That's cute. Uh, all right, let's see here. Oh, oh my goodness. It is a bag full of little tiny... It says hex bug. Let's see. Are they hex bugs? I don't think they are, though. They're the hex bug mouse. That's even cooler. It is a little uh, electronic mouse that just sort of runs around. And you didn't just send one or two. Uh, you sent a whole bunch. So uh, no matter how many kittens the new mom cat has, we will probably. And I think there's a note here. It says, here we go. Hex bug mice, seven total, one for each of the, oh, Kahooties, and one for Thimble. Well, that makes sense too. Thank you for that. They are going to love that. 
they went nuts when I got out the, the little hex bug upstairs. I put it on that plate. I think you guys probably saw some of that. I think it made it into one of the micro close-ups. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's all the same note here. I was just unrolling it to make sure. So, Maggie, now you are in the wrong place. You've gone too far the other way. First, we were like, you're not close enough. Now you're too close. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, they love these hex bugs. And this is exactly the same thing as a hex bug, except it's got a mouse on it instead of just being a little weird uh, sci-fi bug thing. So this should be even more fun for them. I know they're going to love it. They stole that thing. They kept stealing it and carrying it away. And uh, I, I didn't find it until the next morning. Uh, it's going to need a new battery now. So that's super sweet, too. Uh, let's see. I need a box. I guess this is a good box to put these things into, though. So that's great. Uh, kind of great. Uh, look, let's keep going. We don't have to sort this all out yet. We can figure it out. Uh, thank you, Lisa for Kittens is uh, who sent that. Lisa for Kittens, much appreciated. How are we doing on time, everybody? Good, 1045, all right, and we're still going strong. This looks like, is this? No, okay, I was going to say, I thought maybe we had three packages here from Bob and Ruth this week, but just two. Uh, this bottom one here is from somebody else. So let's do, oh, oh, stretch, big stretch. Okay, we got this big stretch. There we go. Okay. I'm going to start with this target box because the target box says it is uh, addressed to Eddie, DJ, and Mr. A. Uh, and because of that, I recognize it as being from the same person that sent some things in the last couple of weeks. Uh, and I think I even should know who that person is on Discord, but I don't because I'm just not, I'm just not uh, smart like that anymore. Uh, I say anymore, it's giving myself a lot of credit. Ooh, all right, some more Christmas stuff to deploy immediately, probably. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I, this is actually the same thing that you sent last week, and you said uh, because the post office said that it didn't arrive, which they, they do regularly, by the way. If, if anybody sends us stuff, if anybody sends us stuff to the post office box and you get a message from the post office or from Amazon that's like, Failure to deliver, um, you know, and, and but it, um, I, I would wait until Saturday to make sure that that is true. Uh, because in a lot of cases, they end up sending back really strange messages from the post office about whether delivery succeeded or not. Uh, and then later on, it turns up. So that's exactly what I remember now you said happened here is you sent these exact same, uh, this beautiful gingerbread house and the cat scratcher that looks like a Christmas present. And uh, I think the post office said it never arrived uh, and sent you some weird tracking info. So uh, you complained and they sent another one. So now we've got backups, uh, which are either going to make our Christmas deployments plentiful or uh, get saved for next year, which also happens quite a bit here. Um, I've got, in fact, the, the blankets that you just saw me put out in the mom cat's room upstairs were stuff that arrived, I think, after Christmas, but maybe even before last year uh, that I've been hanging on to to, to deploy. Uh, so just open them for the first time. Brand new. Very nice. That one. There we go. Okay. Good. I see GA girl saying we can put that banana in the endowments. Um, so that'll work too. All right. This is from Bob and Ruth, as I said. Uh, and there's two boxes from Bob and Ruth this week. Let's take a look at what's inside. They're, they're not labeled one and two as, as far as I can see, so we can whatever order. Oh my, this looks like a stuff to put under our Christmas tree. I'm never sure when people send things that are nicely wrapped like this. These are so beautiful, whether we should open them right now or save them for Christmas Day. Uh, here we've got a, a, a polar bear. It looks like a polar bear that is actually like sledding his body down a hill and holding a present. At least that's what I see. Maybe he's just laying in the snow with it. Who knows? And it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ and faculty, wishing you the gifts of the season, peace, joy, and hope. Much love from Bob and Ruth. Hope you enjoy the goodies for the humans and a few for the faculty as well. We'll send refills for the bear cookie basket as needed. I don't know what a bear cookie basket is, but oh man, I can tell you right now, we need refills. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, thank you. That's very generous. 
Wow, the giving plate. Oh, I see. You know, this is interesting. Uh, it does say, it's, it says that basically this is a plate to uh, give food to your friends on and then they can give it to food to their friends on. And that's a great tradition. I love that it's so official because we've had some people, I think of the scooters in particular, we've collected several plates from them. And uh, you know what? Uh, the buck stops here. All right. We don't pass it on. Uh, <laughs> but this is a good reason to do it, I think. And I, I do think that that's the way that all those plates are probably meant to be used, even though they just ended up getting added to our collection. This one's from the scooters, I mean. So look how cute these are. Nicely wrapped little packages. And again, I'm never sure what to do, but I think I would like to put these under the Christmas tree if it's okay with you, and then wait a little while to open them. At least maybe save them for a mailbag closer to Christmas. I don't know. That's going to be my plan. And if you object, if you think don't do that, uh, just let me know. You know how to get in touch with me and we'll open them tomorrow. Okay. But for now, I'm going to say the stuff that comes that's wrapped, uh, I'm going to put that under our tree. So there's something there because as much as DJ and I love Christmas, we never really buy each other any presents because, you know, if there's stuff we want, we tend to just get it. There's never that kind of thing that we're, we're holding out hope for, you know, that, uh, it's really the problem of, you know, what do you give the person who's got everything, I guess, uh, or, or whenever I, there is something that I want to give to DJ, I just, I get it for her. We don't need a special occasion for that. Uh, that also happens fairly often, I guess. So, uh, yeah, so anyway, my point was that there's hardly ever any actual presents under our Christmas tree, and we used to go through the trouble of just wrapping up empty boxes to look cool, and lately we just haven't had the time because DJ is so busy with her fellowship. Uh, anyway, these aren't wrapped, so we don't have to wait for that. This says faculty treats, and it's a bunch of uh, the churu and these wonderful tuna fillets, uh, chicken fillet in this case. Wow, those are a hit. Maggie, do you want a churu right now since you're standing right here looking for treats? Let's try it out. Oh, good. I see Ruth saying that under the tree is okay. It's so nice to have that instant feedback, isn't it? Here you go, Maggie. When's the last time you had an actual churu? DJ gives her treats every day, but DJ mostly gives out the like dry treats every morning, I think. Uh, Maggie's learned to wait for DJ in the kitchen to get some treats. Yeah, you have noisy liquor. Okay, you got it? Clean that off for me. This has to go in my pocket now so that she doesn't try to get it and eat the wrapper. That would be bad. All right, I'm going to wipe this right here because I know you clean yourself like crazy and that'll be a treat for you when you do. Okay, that's how it works. So these can go with the rest of the treats then. Uh, thank you so much for that. Here are, oh, a Jackson Galaxy. Uh, this is a big mouse, uh, a little bit unusually big. And this is sort of like a baseball made out of... Um, I don't actually know what this material is. Some sort of weird felted uh, rough thing. So those are going to be super fun. Whoops. Uh, we have a Yao catnip banana tacked to this one with uh, the same strange ball that I think they're going to like. I think this was an addition that, that was made after the fact. That's cute. Ooh, oh, this is so cute. Mr. A and DJ, handmade by Ruth, cotton dishcloth or hot pad as you need. So sweet. I think a hot pad is, is good. We can use this kind of thing. I, I'd kind of like to see this, but I'd also kind of like to put it under the tree. But then if I do with this bow and everything, kittens will probably tear this one up. Oh, see what I mean? Maggie's on it already. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, Maggie, take it easy. Those are my fingers. I'm going to need those later. Okay. Um, I was going to say, I can use this stuff as a hot pad, uh, but as a dish rag, I always feel too bad. There's too much work that goes into it, and we wreck dish rags. Look how pretty those are. Wow. Those are beautiful. Thank you so much for those. Uh, let's see. So much more. Oh my gosh, this is just packed full. Pretzel rods. Oh no. These look great. They're like chocolate covered long pretzels, various types of them. Man, my diet is just wrecked at this point. Just forget about it. It looks like uh, you've sent a collection of blankets and toys for each kitten. This says Flim Flam, and it's got a Yao catnip heart with this wonderful gingerbread blanket. This one says Mayhem. Oh, maybe that heart is not part of it. Maybe it is. We're going to pretend it is because it's stuck under there. That's good enough for me. Yes, and it doesn't say anything contradictory on there. This one's for Mayhem, and it's the candy cane blanket. Uh, we have one that's a polar bear blanket that doesn't have 
I don't think this one's got a name on it. Okay. Very pretty though. We have bamboozle has butterflies for little bamboozle, butterflies and other things. And this looks like a bee and some flowers. Wow. I like that print. That's a that's very pretty drawings of the the the, uh, the bee especially in the poppies. It looks like poppies to me maybe. Uh, Hoodwink gets another Christmas print. Looks like a Christmas sweater kind of a print for Hoodwink. And this says, oh baby baby kittens at KA. This is super cute. It's got some really cute little uh, little tiny kittens on it. It's a it's a receiving blanket. A little oh, cotton receive. Sorry, Maggie. All right. I only knew that was going to happen. Where did I put the other one? Well, uh, we'll sort all that out afterwards once we get up. Uh, then there's another catnip banana. And finally, ooh, a bright, uh, dark red, I should say, Christmas blanket that will look great. Uh, probably as a throw blanket on one of our chairs or something. 4KA. Wonderful. That one actually just about needs a fresh blanket on it, so it may be just about time. Thank you so much, Bob and Ruth. Uh, now I can use your box to put the big endowments into. Oh, I just, this this is Flim Flam's heart, right? I'm, I'm pretending it is anyway, so we'll put that right in there for Flim Flam. Okay. I'm surprised we haven't seen any kittens except Maggie during this whole mailbag. How strange is that? I mean, they are tired out, but... Usually not so tired that they don't show up at all, especially when we start throwing things around. Uh, all right, I'm not going to try to sort this quite yet. We'll sort it after. I know these go over here. I think these can go. You know, why am I doing this? I just said we're not going to do this. All right, let's stick to it. Let's stick to our word. Well, we are just about out of time, and uh, it is it is convenient because we've got, I think, uh, just a nice number of things to go through that give me some time to sort of ramble about the, the letters and things tomorrow without panicking about how long it's going to take. Uh, I see two big boxes here plus a handful of packages in this. Uh, ooh, I do see one, though. Let's do one more that I saw when I was uh, putting... Uh, labels on everything to cover up the addresses. This one I feel like we really should do today for reasons that are obvious once you see it. It says the Swiss Colony Mini Toffee. Oh man, I love toffee. Uh, all the toffees, the kitten and the food. And it says use as you see fit. Happy holidays, B and Yurt. Uh, the reason though that I wanted to open this. Oh, the reason I want I didn't expect a tin of toffee. Isn't that cute with the reindeer? It says on the outside, refrigerate immediately. Refrigerate at once. Sorry. Refrigerate at once for best quality. So uh, I like best quality, and we will have to uh, refrigerate at once. So that's why I wanted to open that one today. I saw that. and uh, Also, I saw toffee, and I thought, okay, this is this is all about it. B and your... Thank you so much, B and your, oh, I miss all the little fun kitties. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, it, since I know that was a short one because I started late and now we're ending an, almost an entire minute early. Oh my goodness, I can talk though to make that time up. Or uh, I can just get up and start to put this stuff away the way that it should be and we'll still end up uh, closing it off after. And maybe tomorrow we can convince kittens to kind of participate a little bit more. Uh, we'll try. And don't forget, uh, when we do pick it up tomorrow, it will be at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, not 10 o'clock on Sunday. So 11 o'clock. I will see you guys then. Uh, I'm not done talking to you yet, though. I, let, me, uh, let me get this stuff kind of sorted out, and then I'll come back and I'll say thank you one more time, and then we'll end the archive. And then uh, I'll probably find some food, and then I'll probably start throwing Christmas stuff everywhere in the house. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, that's the plan anyway. So, all right, uh, let me hop to it. Hi, Maggie, what are you looking for? You could have come sit on my lap. You know, I know you love my lap. Just not now, huh? Only in the beanbag chair upstairs or whenever it's inconvenient. It's convenient now. That's why you don't want it. Okay. Whoop, up and at him. Oh, oh, my goodness. Such a long way to stand up. All right. Well. Let's start by taking the stuff that we know is for endowments for uh, kittens in general. And put that over here. That's this and this. And 
Uh, not, these are for general, so let's put that stuff in a different box just so I'm not looking at it trying to remember who it was meant for. Uh, it's meant for anybody. This box is too big though. I need a small one. There we go. This one's the right size. Maggie, are you helping? Is this helping? Is it though? Okay, Maggie, good job, though. All right, uh, we can use this big box to put these things into. I am going to switch this blanket out right now. Normally, we wash all the blankets before we use them. This smells good. We can use it just the way it is. Mm. Actually, it smells kind of nice. Okay. Oh, there we go. More stuff. We're going to general use box. Go. Good. Good, good, good. Treat some things. All right, let's pile this stuff up. Tackle the treats. We should pull out the rest. We can go all the same direction. It's out of my pocket. Oh. That red and uh, white string from last week is in my pocket. Well, half of it anyway. Uh, it got bitten in half by custard. I was really enjoying it. Okay. Look at this giving plate. Oh, that means that there was uh, something that Bob and Ruth referred to in there. Oh, this has a whole note on it. Oh. Wow. I think that uh, might be spoilers about what's in there, so I, I didn't read it too carefully. Uh, speaking of, uh, something about a bear full of cookies that uh, we didn't come across yet that uh, very intriguing. I guess we'll find out tomorrow, won't we? Discard pile, but not this stuff. Let's see. This has to go to our letter collection. And these can go under the actual Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. Try to get a picture of custard under the Christmas tree with those presents, with the ornaments that say K.A. on them. Uh, but I didn't quite get it because it was too bright and too dark, too much dynamic range. And then uh, Logan, I mean, came out from under the tree. So kind of missed the, the perfect photo. Also, I noticed that the kittens were all up and down the tree this morning, which you might have seen. And uh, I think they knocked down the Christmas tree topper. Good job, kids. I don't think any class has done that before. That's a new one.
think I think I am going to take these downstairs for the moment. If DJ really likes the ones that we've got to set up today, I can pull them back up. For All right, this can go. Since I'm going downstairs anyway, uh, we have a whole bunch of Christmas tunnels for these kittens. So I'm going to take away the regular tunnels. Because otherwise, it would just be too many tunnels. Nobody needs that many tunnels. Not all of them. What are you thinking, bud? I, uh, I I started a project this week, earlier this week, before I threw my back out. Well, I say threw my back out. That's a whole different thing. Uh, it's not the same as when I've thrown it out before. I just pulled a muscle in my back real bad. Uh, I mean, real bad. Um, and uh, I'm pretty much recovered. It, I mean, it still twinges a little bit if I move wrong, but it's not too bad. Anyway, uh, I was saying I started a project where uh, I'm trying to get all my work, or not all, but some of my workout equipment upstairs to a room that we'll actually get to use it in. And as you know, these projects cascade. Part of that meant cleaning out my closet upstairs, and that means getting things more organized in the basement because that's where some of that stuff's going to go. Uh, so it's like that scene, uh, that old cold open for Malcolm in the middle where he has to change the light bulb and ends up fixing the car. Uh, and his wife comes in and she's like, I, I thought you were going to change the light bulb. And he's like, what does it look like I'm doing? Uh, that's how I feel pretty much all the time. So um, where was I going with that? Uh, oh, I guess I was just trying to mention the fact that um, we're, I, I bought a whole bunch of more storage uh, for the basement so we can get stuff off the floor in case it floods again. Fingers crossed. I think we'll solve that problem and it won't ever flood again. But and then I kind of decided to just turn the basement into storage. Uh, the finished part of the basement needs to be refinished now that it's flooded so many times. And so we're not going to bother with that at the moment. We're just going to make it storage. And I bought some new shelving for that. And getting that all put together is now another project for us to do. Good times, though. Anyway, just thinking of you know putting this stuff away. And that made me, I don't know, I don't know why I said all that. Who cares? Who cares? This tunnel is a great tunnel. This is part of that NASA set, you know. Um, the kittens love it. Let's see here. I don't even really have to tie this together. It comes in a little a case that holds it together very nicely, which is hanging right over there. But I'm going to tie it once anyway, just to make it look good. Logan Berry, what you thinking, pal? I know. I, I woke you up from your hiding spot under the Christmas tree. He, he and Custard both love all the same places in the house, which is, I guess, ironic considering how much they don't love each other. But whichever one of them is out is almost always sleeping under the Christmas tree. And then when they have to be put up, they, they both love to go to my office. Sleep in the same pods and the same beds, but just not at the same time. We did have an interesting moment yesterday, though. Now, when I was playing with Custard with that red and white string, which I think made it into a micro, which may or may not be up yet. Um, when I was playing with him with the string, Logan was at the door pawing and, and like banging on the door to come in to play and Custard completely ignored it. It, it really, it, uh, I was surprised. I was very surprised that Custard completely ignored it in favor of playing with the string. It made me think that maybe the right way to get through to these two together is not through treats, but through play. We always say, if you have cats that you're trying to introduce, you know, you want to figure out what works best for them and keep them distracted while they're around each other so they focus on something else rather than focusing directly on each other. You need to sort of give them an excuse to be in the same place together for a while. And uh, we, we most often go to treats for that because a lot of cats are sort of food motivated and the treats work really well. Um, but uh, also play is another thing that we use sometimes. 
And I didn't expect that play would be the thing that would work for them and not treats. Uh, but I think that might end up being the case. And it gives me, uh, I guess, the idea that I should, I should give that another whirl uh, as if I can find the time uh, getting them to, to be friendly together again. Anyway, all right, uh, let's carry this stuff downstairs now. I put away both the tunnels so I can do that. Okay, up and at them. No. This says maximum penalty for theft or misuse of postal property a thousand dollars and three years imprisonment. Don't tell anybody. Oh my goodness. Look at us scoff law right here. Of course we will return this to the post office. We always do. I guess this is technically misuse though. Thinking, Loganberry. Find something new to pee on? Don't do it, okay? Don't do it, pal. Oh, this is not just a blanket. What is this? What happened here? Huh. That's interesting. It doesn't say anything about what it is, but it's got one end that's folded over. Looks like maybe it's made to, to hang on the back of a chair like this. I have to turn it around for that. Let's try this. I don't know what else that would be for. It's just a tiny bit wide for this chair, but that's that's cool. Hmm. Hmm. Who knew? Yeah, that's got to be what that's for. 
I have never seen that before. Nice. All right. Oh, well, I guess that's basically it. Hang on. Let me put this stuff away. Boy, I really have to empty that litter box in their room again. I'm looking pretty dire in there. All right, well, uh, that's it for mailbags. And thank you all so much for everything, including this stuff that came in a prior mailbag that was set out for us to deploy. I was going to wait for DJ to go. Oh, look at that. It's a three way tunnel. All right, nice. And the fish. And, oh, it's got a whole bag of toys. These toys don't seem to be especially Christmassy, though, so I guess we'll wait on that part. This, though, that's too silly. Uh, which end can this go on? I guess it's this end. Yeah, let's do that. That's why I picked this one to bring in here. <laughs> that's very, that's very Christmassy. All right, perfect. I like it. There we go. That's ridiculous. And the kids are already going to try it out, huh? Cool. No, no, this is not. No, I know, buddy. You want to play with that? Do you? Oh, that's cute. I don't think I can let you have it, though. This is supervised play only. Oh, a zip does not zip. It doesn't re-zip. Oh no. Oh wow, I just tore the whole bag. All right, well, forget that. Here, have a fish instead. Do you want to play, play with this? Play with this. Come on. There you go. Here. Go get it. Don't tell me. All right. Hey, uh, one more time. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow at 11.